would say that that get prepared to learn a lot, but the great thing is that you grow so much. I mean, the feedback that you get from people just makes you better. It sharpens, um, it sharpens you as a businesswoman. It, um, when, when people push back, it makes me think, how do I fight harder? How do I get better? How do I be um, the best in whatever I'm doing? Because if they don't believe in me or if they have pushback against me, it just makes me want to be better. Um, I would say sort of specific things I've learned around that because the, the pushback is consistent and you will get pushback. If, and if you're not, it means you're not out in the market enough. Like if you haven't gotten people telling you they don't get what you're doing or like they're not on board, you need to be more out in the market. You need to get more feedback from more people um, because that is, that is a critical part of growing and running a business is getting market feedback, is getting feedback from consumers, from um, potential investors, whether that is um, the bank giving you a loan or your friends and family loaning you money to, to get the business off the ground. Um, you, you need critical feedback. The key though is twofold. One is deciding which advice is good and which isn't because not all advice is equal. And a lot of times people will give you advice where they've had no experience doing what you're doing. And you really have to um, decide whether it's, it's information you're gonna take and run with or whether it's information that you're gonna leave behind. Um, so that's sort of one point is, you know, deciding what advice is good and what isn't. And then uh, the second piece is just the importance of resilience. So you will get, um, again, if you're out in the market enough, so if this isn't happening, I want you to push yourself to be more out in the market. People will tell you that they don't agree or, or believe in what your business is. And you have to be your own best cheerleader. You have to be able to tell them why what you're doing is gonna work, why what you're doing is going to succeed, why you are the right business person to build this business. Why you, why you, why your brand, why your company, like, why are you perfectly positioned to do what you want to do? People who have succeeded at what you're trying to do are no more qualified than you are. Like, if they can do it, you can do it. And I find myself, like, having imposter syndrome all the time where I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm smart enough and savvy enough to be a businesswoman that runs a business that's X size. But then I remember and I think about other people I know that are running businesses at that size and I'm like, wait, and with all due respect, I'm like, they're not necessarily that much smarter than me. Like they're not, there's nothing, they, they didn't have, you know, these masters and whatever that I don't have. Like I, I am just as capable of it, as doing it as they are. And so I would, um, I think it's really common to uh, have doubt and then wonder even once you get started, if you are capable of being a successful business person, like, am I cut out for this? Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I'm better at X or Y. And I just, I would say, you know, the people who succeed are the ones who just keep going.